Hi, welcome to this edition of our video newsletter. I'm your host, Scott Kalchicki. You know, design engineers all over the world are realizing the distinct advantages of developing systems based on a software-defined radio architecture rather than the more traditional hardware-defined radio design. With the software-defined radio approach, you essentially move the data conversion earlier in the signal path closer to the antenna. That pushes a lot of the analog signal processing into the digital domain and offers you lower cost, maximum flexibility, and many more benefits for the entire system. By shifting to a software-defined radio design, you can actually eliminate elements such as RF components, mixers, local oscillators, and amplifiers, allowing you to design for smaller board areas with lower power requirements, less RF shielding, and you get much greater flexibility with software or digital programming of radio receivers. You can see these advantages in many applications, especially those that require wide input bandwidth, need frequency flexibility, have multiple mixing stages, or require the simultaneous processing of multiple signals, or really any combination of these. The key applications we're looking at include wideband communications and multi-standard, multi-carrier base stations, military communications and signal intelligence, data acquisition, radar and LIDAR, optical networks, microwave backhaul, and even multi-tuner set-top boxes. To help you design these software-defined radio solutions, National Semiconductor is now delivering the ADC 12D1800, which is the industry's fastest 12-bit analog to digital converter. At 3.6 giga sample per second, it's actually more than three and a half times faster than any other 12-bit device on the market, and it offers you a Nyquist bandwidth of 1.8 gigahertz. In addition to the ADC 12D1800, National Semiconductor is also introducing two other members of its ultra-high-speed ADC family. This offers you excellent dynamic performance over large input bandwidths at the fastest sampling rates in the industry. The ADC 12D family of products now enables you to shift RF applications to software-defined radio, which can significantly reduce your bill of materials, your size, weight, and power requirements, all while drastically improving system flexibility and reprogrammability. Among other features, these ADCs are configurable to either operate independently as a two-channel ADC in dual-channel mode, or they can actually operate interleaved as a single channel ADC running at twice the rate of one channel. The interleaving functionality and required calibration are all included on chip. They offer multi-chip synchronization, a timestamp feature, and an internal buffer, as well as programmable gain and offset adjustment per channel. And they're actually pin compatible with National's 10-bit giga sample ADCs for an easy upgrade path for higher resolution. Let me show you an example of how these work. So what we have here on the bench is actually an evaluation kit for a high-speed ADC family. This includes a reference board with the ADC and an FPGA, and it also includes the WaveVision 5 software tool for measuring the ADC's performance specs. One key difference with these software-defined radio applications is that you want to focus on the performance of the ADC in a defined channel bandwidth. Now, instead of the traditional measurements like SFDR and SNR that measure performance over the entire Nyquist band, we really want to concentrate on the noise and distortion performance within that defined channel. And so we focus on noise power ratio, intermodulation distortion, and noise floor. Here's an example of measured results for the ADC 12D1000. You can see that we achieve an NPR of 52 dB, an IMD of minus 66 dB, and a noise floor of minus 147.5 dBm per hertz. Now for reference, that noise floor is actually better than the noise floor of many 14-bit, 105 mega sample per second pipeline ADCs. So over here on the bench, we're showing you an excellent example of an application that can be served using a software-defined radio approach. What we have is the standard reference board for the 12-bit ADCs, and around that we've built a demonstration system that emulates a cable TV set-top box. A typical cable set-top box has multiple single-channel tuners and wideband tuners, but that can become a design problem as the number of channels in these boxes continues to grow. To solve that problem, you can take one of these 12-bit ADCs from National Semiconductor and digitize the entire cable bandwidth, and then all the tuning is moved into the digital domain. With this reference board here and the software, the entire cable spectrum from 0 to 1 gigahertz is displayed. And what you see is if we zoom in at 800 megahertz, you can very clearly pick out the QAM channels that we're putting into this signal. In this demo, we put a digital tuner into the FPGA, and that's selecting one of the QAM signals and then sending out to the TV monitor here. 
We've tested the performance of this system, and we've seen that Nationals ADC supporting the digital tuner performs as well as, if not better than, typical single channel and wideband tuners. You can see that in the next generation multi-channel set-top boxes, one of Nationals 12-bit gig ADCs with inexpensive CMOS signal processing can actually replace all of the conventional tuners in the set-top box. And this gives you all of the performance benefits, but it also comes with significant savings in space, power consumption, and cost, while still offering a lot of flexibility. So there you have it. With this new family of ultra-high-speed ADCs, National Semiconductor is helping you to solve your system design challenges and enabling you to develop whole new generations of software-defined radio architectures and applications. To get the very latest on these offerings, click on the links within the newsletter or just visit us at national.com slash gigADC. That's going to wrap up this edition of our video newsletter. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.